Good morning. I'm your friend Scotty Ray, along with Odie, well, and Odie had a different look there. We had a sneak peek of our guesses. She looked a whole lot better than you. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. well, you know, I didn't wear my long hair today. That happens. It happens. Yeah, Amanda will be joining us from the state games of Mississippi. Always good to have that. Yes, it, and what they do for our area. Yeah, we're gonna find out. We're gonna. Odie's got a flashlight, and she ain't getting out of here. That's we're getting right. all the answers that y'all want to know. Yeah, y'all, y'all want to know, and, and we're gonna keep her around because she looks like she's so much fun. To, she's a lot smarter. We graduated. She's together. smarter than we are. Yes, sir, Re Bob. And Let's, y'all graduated together. Yeah. Does she remember you? Northeast High. She. Most people tried to forget that. <laughs> I had that same look all through high school. Flannel. That was, <laughs> that was hard to miss. <laughs> and blue jeans. <laughs> that was me. I will give you a hint. I didn't fit in with the uh, what you would call the. Uh, Click the click, yeah. I, I was outside the click, <laughs> believe it or not. I was, I a was standalone island. I, I was friends with everybody. I wasn't just stuck with one. Oh, group. I, I have no idea, I, no doubt that. Yeah, I, I just I was friends with everybody. <laughs> Let's take a look at radar again. As we urged everybody on that first report, there be cautious going to work. We had a lot of wind. A lot of rain come in, and there's trees still kind of weak that are falling. As we go to radar, let's take a look at what we've got. As we go to Honda Meridian radar, we're showing that our biggest sail is down here in Jasper County around Heidelberg, Highway 59. Now, we've had several accidents in that area. We don't want you to be a, a number. As you make your way into here, don't forget, it gets real nasty about right there as you're coming in. There at the curve. Right, so, Oof. yeah. We don't want any accidents right here this morning on that. We always have one. We just don't need that today. It's no, wet, not though. at all. And Susie took took my thunder. She, what she Exactly did? what she said. She said, thank you, Lord, for your hand of protection from the storms. Let me tell you all, what we were looking at with these radars and we were tracking coming into our system, if you don't believe in God, you should, because last night he's had Ooh. his hands over us and he kept everybody around, not just this area, but the state safe. Prayers work uh, because that that is something we were in for a heck of a night. Well, look at this, Odie. When I, when I sat down in here a little bit before 10 o'clock, we had a tornado warning that was fired off right here moving yeah. through Carthage. And it, uh, you want to talk about bad as it looked like it was just all of Philadelphia and this area was going to Winston County was going to be affected by that. And then it just kind of faded away. And then we got to watching all that, like you're saying, to the west. And it was Man. horrible. And it just slowly dissipated i guess is the word it, it did. and then watching this thing was completely completely growing and then it would dissipate a little bit then it would grow again uh we were scared to leave the eoc because we knew if we if we left you know something bad was going to happen so finally i guess about the two three o'clock no it was three wasn't it yeah, about three o'clock yeah. we called it quits <laughs> yeah because it was like I left the EOC about three, and you left over here about three, and we were texting going, see you in a couple of hours. <laughs> yeah. You can tell you something, it hurt. It still hurts. I can't, re I can't recover from things like I used to. No, if I didn't have to have my hair fixed, oh, I could afford that first cup of coffee see, on a, me. There's a purpose of cowboy hats. <laughs> you don't really have to worry about that. Ah, that's true. Amy says I need a haircut now, and I do. Well, I did lose my cowboy hat Saturday morning down at the uh, the uh, Alley Cat Run as the tent flew by and knocked us down, and my hat went down the highway. <laughs> you didn't have Greg holding it for you? <laughs> I called and asked for that. I, in windy days, I do need that. Yeah. Well, of course, he couldn't reach it. <laughs> Hold my hat, Junior. <laughs> as we mentioned uh, on that first broadcast, tragedy hits America. Oh, man. And, and I ask Odie, I just don't remember other than watching that movie. Remember the movie The Mothman uh, Prophecies? Yeah. Where yeah. the bridge collapses? That's what happened overnight in America. Maryland is where we go. Baltimore, the Francis Scott Key Bridge has fallen. Um, 
20 souls fell in the water that we're aware of. There mm. could be more. Only two have been pulled from the water. One was safe. One was rushed to a hospital. This happened one thirty. ish Am I right? About one thirty ish our time. Uh, and they've got approximately seven cars last I heard uh, that sonar has picked up uh, on the bottom of the river that they're trying to identify locations so they can get dive teams in there. Frigid, cold water, 47 degrees. Uh, it does not take long to send you into hypothermia. Now, if you will notice right there, that's cars, that's workers on that bridge right there. Those little lights right through there. Yeah, they all were of those. pouring concrete. And like, like you said this morning, we're sitting here watching this video, and you see 18 wheelers, and we're going, is he going to make it? Is he going to make it? Then he made it. And a couple more 18 wheelers, and it's like, uh, and we don't know. You couldn't really, the, with the camera, you couldn't really see how many cars were on there. You could see the construction workers because they flashed. Yeah, they had the but, blinky lights. But the 18-wheelers, you could see. And, and we could have missed one. You know how it is with the camera so far off. But, yeah. Uh, they're it guessing was, seven cars at the bottom at this point? Yeah, pretty much that they know. Yeah, and, and they're using sonar, as you mentioned. What? Yeah. Um, how many? Because I brought it up. I thought I'd. How high was that bridge, Odie? 185 feet vertical lift off of the water, uh, and that's what I, I decided to pull up some information. What do you got for me? Where they started construction on this bridge in 1972, opened in 1977, so a five-year build. Now there were some tunnels they were using, but the population had grown so much that the uh, the tunnels were being overwhelmed. That was in 77 or 72. So you can imagine if they are still operable, how long it would take to get traffic. And how are people going to commute now? That That is a question. A main bridge. It was 1.6 mile four lane road that went across there. I mean, there's no way that Look you're that. talking and that much traffic. You're talking hour and a half to two hours to get around yeah you where have you're to supposed go to be all the way back to the 895 it to cost get there. them 60.3 million dollars in 1977 to build that which in today's money uh oh how much is that 316 million two hundred and thirty three thousand dollars oh wait a minute now you've got to put up a cleanup now that entire bridge has got to be removed. Mm, All yeah. your inspections have got to be done, especially on your foundation. Now you're talking government, and people are saying we got to get this bridge open now, so you can double that to seven hundred million dollars to replace that bridge and working one hundred and eighty-five feet off the wall. Did we spend that last week just watching turtles? Yeah, well, made? we sent that to I, another I, I, country. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Because they had different colored turtles that we wanted to make sure they were mating correctly. <laughs> it is our country wastes so much money. There's no way that your great grandchildren are going to be able to afford their land taxes. No, because we're worried about some of the stupidest things. <laughs> there is, there's no way to balance the and trillions of dollars, and uh, it's just sad. But uh, that is a tragedy. What has happened now? Again, we have no at this point. We can only assume. We are hearing the word mash, mass casualty mentioned with this because we know there's 18 at least we don't know about. Doesn't was, mean that anything has happened. They could all be safe. They could have swam and just hadn't made contact with anybody yet. Uh, cold water, you know, you hit that cold water. Number one, you hit that water from 185 feet, it's almost like concrete. Uh, it was hard. And then once that... You hit that 47-degree water. Oh. And I ask Odie because, I don't know, I watched the ship as it drifted and hit the bridge. This is not good for a captain of a boat to do this. Now, you said it could be explainable in a... In a mechanical... I, I read on there that there was reports of the ship slowing down and drifting. And if it had slowed down and started to drift with the current... Uh, that could mean you had mechanical failure. Your engine went out. You could not navigate it. Of course, if your engines are down, you don't have a reverse neither. You don't have park. 
Yeah, there's no park the on those things. Uh, but if there's for any other reason, this guy's going to have a hard time in life even renting canoes, isn't he? Well, I mean, now with people that died, I mean, he could be charged with uh, uh, That's right. manslaughter if there was something mm-hmm. that he did. Uh, he could be charged with manslaughter for each each person that lost a life. And again, at this point, we don't know. It's all speculation yeah. as to what we did see it drift. And uh, what we want now is your prayers for these folks that are uh, a little ways away from us. Baltimore, again, it's the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Just something we don't see in America every day, something like this happening. It's, it's awful. It's sad. Uh, and we mourn for those people who have uh, lost their lives. Already uh, 11 Man. minutes after the hour, Odie, as, uh, was it sprinkling when you pulled up still? Uh, it sprinkled when I left the house, yeah. but it had stopped by the time I got here. All right. Well, so. up next, we're going to find out about the state games as Amanda is prepared to take us on. We're going to interview and talk to her next here at the Scotty Ray Report. Fantasy Cottage Floral and Gifts is located in downtown Quitman, directly across the street from the post office. They are your one-stop shop for all of your floral, a fully stocked gift shop to roses, mixed flower arrangements, and plants, whether it be a special occasion or just because. Remember them in your time of need for all of your funeral floral arrangements. Call on Fantasy Cottage Floral and Gifts at 601-776-3010. Your next appliance is waiting on you at All Temp Appliance and Refrigeration on Highway 19 North. If you've been trying to locate a freezer, drop by and see their big selection of upright and chest freezers. A showroom full of stoves, gas, and electric. Maybe it's a new refrigerator from large double doors to the simplest of refrigerators. Name brand washers and dryers like Speed Queen, Amana, and delivery is available. With a great service department to back up what they sell. Open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. and by appointment after hours and weekends. Summertime has arrived and Freeman Tractor on Highway 494 has the exact lawnmower for your need. If you've got a big yard with acres and acres to mow, they have a mower for that. No matter the size yard you have, Freeman Tractor has the lawnmower that fits you and your budget. From 48 inch all the way up to 60 are the x lawnmower. Plenty of these to choose from. Also, they carry a complete line of LS tractors. Come by for a test drive today. Financing available. Drop in today to Freeman Tractor, Highway 494, see coleslaw or buttermilk. Welcome back. I'm your friend, Scotty Ray. As we promised, the State Games of Mississippi is on the way to the Meridian area. Amanda is in with us. And as we were reminiscing there, I was asking Amanda, back to grade school, we both started at Northeast, graduated there. Yep. You've gone on and got how many kids now? I have two. Uh, grown children and grown? two grandchildren. I yes. think she's trying to point out I might be old. <laughs> well, well, except the grandkids. Yeah, yeah. We got to work on that. I, I don't have a single grandkid yet. Congratulations. How old are your grandkids? Three and four. Three and four boys. Yes. Two boys. Yep. Ooh, I bet they a handful. They are. <laughs> Lots of fun. So, what have you been doing since uh, we graduated? Um, raising children. I spent most of my time at home raising children. I worked um, several different yeah. jobs. And, I know. I just didn't bump um, into you anywhere. Right, right. So I stayed home most of that time, um, did some volunteer work, and now I'm with State Games. So she bumped into Carolyn Smith. The next thing you know, she's working. Carolyn said, I got something for you That's to do. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so when when is State Games? Let's start there. Okay. So opening ceremonies is May the 31st. It's the last friday in may normally it's the first friday in june correct but because of the calendar this year it's the last friday same place city hall lawn we're going to do the same big fireworks we're going to do all the same big torch run have all the athletes there have all the music Right. All the fun stuff, yes. And, and the different towns will be represented here Absolutely. in the Meridian area. Uh, how long do the, the, for those that don't know, that this this really is a big money maker for the Meridian area. Hotels, restaurants. Right. How right. many people do we normally typically see come into town over so this? So normally for state games, we see about 6,000 people come in. Um, we, since we're talking about that, those 6,000 people coming in and hotels and restaurants, we try to do an economic study every five years, and the last one we did was in 2021, and we found that we raised twelve thousand um, dollars. That's great. Well, we brought in. We didn't raise that. We brought in. But we brought in. That was hotels. That was restaurants. That was groceries. That was um, people going to the movies. Yeah. People uh, entertainment things like the Max and the children's children's museum. 
a lot to see and do a while you're in town to here. See and do. Yes, not just the state games. Now, yeah. uh, is it um, spread out uh, at the different locations? Do we still? Is it kind of like the it's same setup? All over the, all over. We're in Ridgeland this year. We're in Vicksburg this year, where we haven't been before. But for the most part, most of the games are in Meridian. Yes. It's a wonderful, wonderful. And you can go this. online. You can see all the games. You can see. You can register for all the games at um, State Games of MS dot org, um, and you can get all of our information there. All right. So yeah. what is this? Uh, Odie's joining up a what a pickle yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, I was. Me and you gonna be on the pickleball. What team. Well, pickleball? It's like I don't know. I've never really. I've never heard of pickleball. I've heard of it, and the, we've got a pickleball court down here at Sammy Davison. Is this similar to um, it's like a the, mini the Choctaw tennis? Indian Fair? The, oh, no. Uh, uh, no. That's rough, tough. No. That's this. whoop your butt in the middle of a ball game <laughs> kind of stickball. If you stick. ain't never watched stickball, you need to go watch that. So I tell you what, that's a manhood that gets shoved <laughs> so out there on Pickleball is not anywhere near like that. Pickleball, uh, no. So have you ever played pickleball? I have not played pickleball. I have. I'm not a tennis player, and I. This is a lot like tennis, from what I understand. <laughs> they yell love a lot during that game. I don't know why. That means the score's tied. Oh, does it? Okay. <laughs> so, so, talking about pickleball. So this year with Netfest, um, that's April the 13th. So this is actually before the state games begin. That's where you have a net, like, in between the two teams. Oh, is that what yeah. it is? Thank you for pointing that out there, Odie. So we're going to have soccer, and we're going to have pickleball, and uh, four-man volleyball teams. Now, where would this be held at? Uh, where, There's three different locations. Um, the soccer will all be at the J.C. Complex. The pickleball will be up there at the Sammy Davidson, like you mentioned. Okay. And the volleyball will be there at the John Moss Volleyball Courts. So Austin said pickleball is basically badminton with a plastic ball instead of one of them birdies. Oh. Hmm. So that makes sense. Okay. I, I tried that. We got one of those when I was little. The badminton? Yeah. I wasn't too good at it. I tried. <laughs> but this is going to be fun. It will be. When is the date of this? This is April the 13th. Now, are you looking for teams? How do you, how do you go about this? Yes, you go online. We were looking for teams. The soccer is three-on-three -three soccer, and it starts at U6 and goes all the way up through high school. So any soccer three-on-three -three teams there can register. The um, pickleball is men's and women's doubles, and then the volleyball is a four-person team. Wow. The more I learned, you know, the first time I got introduced to a, a soccer ball was, what was that movie, that Wilson, the dude hung on oh, the ball? Yeah. That's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it just wasn't a game that we played when we were little. But no. boy, how times have changed where right. soccer is major now. Right. Oh, they have schools yeah. that have scholarships to it. That's right. And of course, yeah, Mexico, that's like the football. And, that's and, football. Is that how you say it? Foos, yeah. Foosball? Football. I'm learning. I'm learning. The language I'm not good at is ODS. <laughs> I cannot change accents at all. <laughs> I don't know what I do. I do good to make Colombo noises. <laughs> so we've got all of this going on. All this leads up to it. Uh, do, what is the cost of this? How, how do we go about? There are different registration fees, and you can find all of those when you go online to register. Yeah, because each team is different. Each right. team is going to have a different registration fee, and if I spit those out, it's just going to confuse people. Uh, I got you. So, what about uh, what about uh, for the state games in general? Have y'all uh, got that finalized? Are y'all still looking for sponsors there? We are still looking for sponsors. We're always looking for sponsors. <laughs> you know how important sponsors are. Absolutely. Yeah. Ray. For your show, for us, um, we can't do state games without sponsors. Um, Blue Cross Blue Shield is sponsoring NetFest for us. Um, you are sponsoring us by letting us come on and talk about NetFest and state games. So we can't do anything without our sponsors, without all of the volunteers that come out and help us, and without those commissioners for the games. Yes. We need all that community support. So this is a, a build. A, 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 yeah, one of those. Yes, sir, Rebob. That coffee didn't kick in <laughs> good enough for us as we get over all that. Volleyball, pickleball, all coming to NetFest and Meridian, part of the state games of Mississippi that will be taking place here. A big deal for Meridian to host this and keep these games as Absolutely. we move forward. We need Absolutely. to keep it. Yes, we do.
Yeah. So, Man, Amanda, we can't thank you enough for coming in and staying with us hey, a little while. Are you going to stay the rest of the show or are you you leaving? I'll stay for just a few minutes. Okay. She's, yeah, you'll enjoy She'll be here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We ain't letting her leave there. Yeah. We've got more questions for okay. us. It comes about. Okay. Already 20 minutes into the hour, believe Jolly. it or not, we're going to tell you about what went on around the area yesterday. Y'all don't rush off some of this stuff you need to know about. We'll be right back. At the Back Porch, we're bringing families back together for fun, food, and all the things you love to enjoy around your home. Every event starts with a great grill, great cookware, and accessories. Add in some locally sourced meat and dairy, along with frozen vegetables and casseroles, and over 500 brands of spices and sauces. Relax in our chairs, swings, day beds, and have fun with our cornhole boards. From coolers to trailers, we have everything you need. When you see the big chair, you've made it to the Back Porch. Our local headlines are brought to you by the Rock House Gun and Pawn. Downtown Meridian is thriving with a fresh look, and now it's getting a new neighbor. Toyota of Meridian is now open under new hometown leadership. We're bringing automotive knowledge and experience home with a focus on improved customer satisfaction and all new pricing. Toyota of Meridian is excited to serve the Queen City and exceed your expectations. I'm Trenard Rush, and I want to invite you to Toyota Meridian, where hometown pride drives excellence. Welcome back. Your friend Scotty Ray along with Odie. Last night, a storm from moving to the area. What did we have, Odie? An attempted robbery. Yeah, it didn't work yeah. out for the bad guy the way they thought it would. And, well, this all happened in the 1200 block of 17th Street. Now, again, after police arrived on seeing the person that was attempted robbery, didn't want to be, well, let's just say very cooperative. They didn't get a whole lot of information out of what went on. But it was an attempt, and, well, it wouldn't take long to work. What is that that I hear? Yeah, I had some more of those is that, uh, what rapid is it? fires. Yes, rapid yeah. fires. We would find that, well, a car was struck yesterday right after the attempted robbery. This would be just a couple blocks away from there. 1300 block of 19th Street. This would go down. A car was hit with several uh, hulls or several shells is the way to word that. But no injuries. Thank heavens. You know, we've had uh, a little bit of a lull here the last two weeks where we didn't have a lot of this going on. I wonder if that has anything to do with uh, the FBI and all that being in They've here. They've been and, in town a lot, haven't they? And they, they took some people away for vacation. Yes, sir. I wonder sir. if they had anything to do with the reason that we don't see too many shootings anymore. It gets people's attention. Did they get the right ones? <laughs> <laughs> now, we did have somebody go, I think I got grazed by something over the weekend, but it Ooh. could not be proved as a reason I didn't uh, put that out. But it was uh, uh, maybe something happened there. You could know. have been a low-flying, fast S bumblebee. Yes, yeah. that took a little... <laughs> You scared you to death there for me. You didn't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> so we couldn't prove that, so we had to report that. Uh, now, let's get to a serious level where we need your help. Uh, let's go to Newton County. This will be near Conahatta. Prospect Road is where we're at there, to where a family lost absolutely everything that they had except for the shirts and clothes on their back when they left uh, to leave home yesterday. Let's pull this up and take a look, and then we're going to go over some clothes sizes and well, how you can help out. Yeah. Uh, Odie, here's what we've got. This that Right there is where it all happened there. I put crash, and it was supposed to be fire. My apologies. It looks that. like smoke. Yeah, yeah, it's close to it. There it is. The fire trucks arrived in the 5,000 block of Conahatta Prospect Road. Let's look at this home. This is what is left. Um, totally destroyed mm. by the fire. A nice home. The firemen done everything that they could, but they could not save it. It's just that happens. You've seen it uh, in your line of work when it, you're out and about. It really does. And when wind's blowing and, and comes inside windows, and it, it, a lot of factors go into play there. But you do have on, on your page, uh, go on Scotty Ray Report and pull this up because he's got the sizes of uh, clothes that they've needed, and some other things. Uh, you can drop off donations at Hometown Prime, which was formerly Lee's Steakhouse. That's where they've kind of set up where you can drop things off for total loss there. Uh, Miss Barbara Wilkinson, her family, their home there. And here are the clothes sizes. Uh, medium to large tops, jackets, uh, seven and a half to eight size shoe, more leaning toward that size eight. Uh, adult, small, medium shirt, jackets, jeans, 30 by 32, as you'll see it there. And again, this is on the page. Now, again, I want to remind you here, this is somebody that has nothing, anything would be appreciated, whether it's monetary, whether it's clothes, it's a jacket. It's still cool in these mornings. It, it is. And if you've got cash out and, and you'd like to just send them some cash, 
Yeah, your cash app. It's on the page too at the bottom. It's got their cash app that you can uh, you can send them send them something to help them out. Five dollars. It doesn't yeah. have to be much. Five dollars. If twenty people give five dollars, that's a hundred dollars for them to go. Look, as a group, I'll, we're strong. You one got one, that. We're not right. always the strongest, but together we yeah. can do and accomplish a lot. They lost their their clothes. They lost what personal items they had. But they also lost food that they had. Yes. Anything will help. I'm going to tell you, you don't really realize what clothes cost until you look at a bill that your wife's been to town. Then you realize, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Could you have not showed that to me? <laughs> Man, you think about what a closet is worth. Just the shoes. Amy went and said, uh, here, try this undershirt on. Because, you know, I love undershirts. That's what I heard. It's a rumor. Golly, I put that thing on. Man, I said... Baby, this is nice. She said, "You want some more?" And I said, "Yeah, I, I do." Well, I'm. We're sitting in there watching. Is TV it Duluth? And, no, it wasn't quite. But it. This was. I don't know what the name brand was. I kind of got that out of my head. And I pulled it up, and I stopped. I Spit had to catch coffee? my breath. I turned around, and looked at her, and I said, "Don't you buy me no more undershirts?" <laughs> well, why? I said they're nineteen dollars a piece. <laughs> no, but they're comfortable, aren't they? No, not now. Man, I, I have some of those socks that are like 40 bucks a piece or are like incredible. Is that true? Because I'm sure she know, got I'm you some. I'm not stuff. putting any of them on. $40. I don't even buy shoes that expensive. I, wait a minute. Now that you brought that up, I saw a commercial and I clicked the thing. They were showing some underwear and I looked. They were like $80 a pair for they, underwear. They can have them. I can't have satin bridges. No. I'm just, I'm, we're going to have to go through the loom. I, I see it. I want a six pack. I'm. I don't like paying twelve dollars for a six pack. How did that ever work out for you over Victoria's Secret? Oh, well, now I bought that. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred eighty dollars. It was well worth I it. I didn't spurge huh? on them, you know. You know, how you, you know if they look good or not. How do you just know? Wad them up and throw them down if they look good in the pile. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it most of the time. Leave it on Odie. <laughs> Shad White has got a guilty plea as I quickly change subjects before he gets me into a back in quarter. Here we are. Shad White is taking this nice young lady to jail. She's pled guilty. They're going to be asking for about $21,000. Yep, $21,700 as they're going to prosecute this, Odie, as it goes farther. Holly Summers was her name. She was arrested last November. We ran the story when the arrest happened there. But she's got to serve about four years there and pay back some stuff there of taking money that wasn't hers. Shad White, they always get to the bottom of the case when this happens. It ain't worth it. A dollar, two dollars, they'll find it. Just mm. not worth it to spend time in jail for something silly as that of taking money that's not yours. Yeah. Uh, now, we do go to Tucker, Mississippi, as we go north of here. Right before you get to Philadelphia, we see that a Tucker man has pleaded guilty. This is one of those instances to where it makes you shudder incitement of a minor on the Choctaw Indian Reservation as we get word of this yesterday. Uh, Wallace, 35 years old, used Facebook to message to entice someone under the age to do sexual activity. Guilty is what we've gotten out of that as we get this from the courts there. A horrible, horrible. Watch out with this, with this rain and things that happen. Let me show you something that turns out bad, Odie, right there. Oh, yeah, and that'll sneak up on you. And that's one of the main reasons we say turn around don't drown because if you can't see the uh the asphalt because of water that could be under yep that's a sinkhole and this was right on 15th street 17th avenue 15th street and if there's one there's more because we've had a lot of water come through the area so keep it in mind as you're planning your day just drive a little bit slower you haven't got to be in that fast of a hurry to get where you're going there hey you got to get there on time first you got to get there now y'all don't forget this is going to be given away here in just a little while coffee mug yeah, Hyundai, a Meridian, Scotty Ray report. The next one's going to say WSSR. That's when we're building our network. <laughs> Just <laughs> all on the way. <laughs> Stick with We'll us. give that away right before 8 o'clock. Y'all stay close. We're going back in history now. We're going to see what Amanda can tell us. She really wants to play like She does. Look I know. At That's she, why she's still here. She's going, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, we'll be right back. Spring is finally here. And at Paris Kubota, we currently have just under 500 mowers in stock. Z Series 42 inch for only $43.99 cash or around $86 a month, and we're offering free delivery and pickup. 
And did you know for only $4 a month, you can also add a Husqvarna handheld to your deal? Come see us, Meridian. We've moved to our new location, 2401 Jimmy Rogers Parkway. Stop in and find you one of these great deals. The Precast Group, offering you the best selection when it comes to a storm shelter. Located on 145 South in Meridian, where they offer above-ground shelters that can be installed in your home as you're building it are conveniently located right outside your home if it's already built. They also offer storm shelters that can be installed in a slight bank or on flat ground. Protect your family today with a very affordable storm shelter from the Precast Group. Highway 145 South, 601-482-0003. The Precast Group. Rock House Gun and Pound, located at 5430 Highway 19 North, is ready for spring. From weed eaters to push and riding lawnmowers and one of the largest selections you'll find in chainsaws, along with power tools and generators for backup power. Maybe you're in the market for a TV or maybe a guitar. And not to mention a large selection of diamond rings and Louis Vuitton purses. The Rock House Gun and Pound even has a private lobby for your pawns for confidentiality. Visit them today, Highway 19 North, Rock House Gun and Pound. And welcome back. I'm your friend Scotty Ray along with Odie as we travel along on a, what is that, Tuesday? Uh, I think so. Yes, sir. That's what it feels like anyway. Mm-hmm. Kind of. All right. Well, let's go back. I've heard a lot about this guy. I didn't realize that he was really that young when he passed away, but we've been reminded of him all of our lives. Yeah, we, everybody knows Wasn't there guy. a song, Move Over Beethoven? Yeah, and then, you know, Little he Richard also, sang about him, didn't he? Little Richard, I believe, did. And isn't this the guy that they talked about in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Didn't they bring him back? I think you're right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> 1827, Beethoven passed away at the age of 56. He had liver disease. I didn't know that about him. I didn't know. So I learned something early this morning as we look at history and things that went on. This guy was an American poet, uh, The Road Not Taken. Y'all ever heard of that? Famous poem that was written, Robert Frost. He was uh, born on this day back in 1874, made it to 63, 1963, if I'm not mistaken there. He uh, gained a little age there, but a big day for poets and people like that. Yeah. Why do I say that? Because his next guy from Columbus, Mississippi, known the worldwide as, well, Tennessee Williams, born in 1911, cat on a hot tin roof, streetcar named Desire, the list goes on of many accolades that this man done. And again, all from the state of Mississippi. Columbus is where he was born. Worldwide fame would follow him for his whole life there. Now, it's hard to imagine not watching this show. It was one of the, maybe it was the, was it the car washing scene that got so much attention to this movie? Cool Hand Luke. You ever watch that? Uh, it's been a long time since I've watched that. As you'll go back, this guy here, Struther Martin, he played in it. He was also in a lot of other movies, but that was his big part there. He played the warden on there. What uh, he's Struther. remembered for is that line in there. What we have here is a failure to failure communicate. Failure to communicate. That was a, a big line mm, in the yes top uh, ten of all movie lines that remembered. When I first saw the name, I thought, I know this guy. And I had to think, and then he was in countless movies, but as oh, yeah. history remembers you, he will be remembered for this one movie, I think. He was Elf's dad. <laughs> yeah. James Kahn <laughs> was born in 1940 on this day. Brian, did you ever watch a movie called Brian's Song? Yeah, I didn't either. You know, I wasn't wanted, that an Ann Murray a... song? I don't remember. But I want to say that was about a child that was in a hospital or something. Yeah. I can't remember, but something about Brian's song. That, but anyway. Yeah, yeah. We're not real sure. Yeah. But I never watched it. One of your favorites there, you said, oh, I, I love this woman. I, I, she's just part of the government. She uh, Yesterday, well, she was born in 1940 there. Speaker of the former Speaker of the House there. And she's as you can say, <laughs> good point. <laughs> The ages, as you can tell, one younger, one older. That she's put, uh, she bought some stock yesterday. What does that job pay? One hundred eighty, one hundred ninety thousand. Something 000. like that. Yeah, yeah. She, she invested that, five man. million yesterday in some stocks. It's amazing how you can make such small amounts of money and oh. become a millionaire. Well, now you know. Now she, she's got money. She had. She come from she money. Okay, there. I didn't know that. Yeah, Heinz ketchup. Does she skin to that? Uh, she's a hind somehow. Well, that would explain that. <laughs> I don't know if it was him or her. 
Well, Which one of them hurt. was the slogan, anticipation? You remember how they used to hit the bottom of the bottle? Yeah, high as 57. That was it. Mm-hmm. And they had a little theme song, anticipation <laughs> is making me, I can't even remember it. Yeah. I've done that one time. <clears throat> you ever hit it and it splatter ketchup on everybody? Oh, everywhere, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like squeezing a lemon and it goes to everybody. 1944, this next lady was bored. Uh, she, I can't remember any of her songs, but she was big. Anybody remember Diana Ross? Oh, she was a big one. Yeah. I, I, again, I can't name the songs, but I do know that she was she was very, very big. Brian's song was a movie about a football player battling cancer. I didn't know that. Oh, that's, yeah, I, it's something. Yeah, Brian's song. Huh. Mississippi Blues lady. We appreciate that so much there. 1945, this would go up at I- Iwo Jima. Oof. Boy, is that not powerful? Oh. That is an image that is known worldwide. Um, well, it used to be. This new generation don't have a clue of what it is, what it stands for. They don't even know what that is waving on top of it. They don't have a clue. We need something in school called history. I'm sure. I mean, they've got nine different classes throughout the day that they go through. I shouldn't. Uh, it should be. You would think they would use something like history to, to go on altered there. sometimes, though. We'd make well, great history teachers. We would. Bring it'd along like, Anthony. He knows it all. Yeah, it, it'd be like... The show. It'd be the truth and a lot of local stuff. 1946. I loved westerns. The Cowboys. There was nothing like the Rifleman. Was he oh, not man. fast? Chuck <laughs> Connors? Had that One extra. One cock at rifle. He had that altar there where it had that big lever on it. Yeah, yeah. Man, he was good. Y'all remember the kid that was on there? Yep. Well, he had a birthday today. He was born. Johnny Crawford. He's passed away now, but boy, he made a living out of that doing well, book signs and different things across America. Yeah. He man. always, the rifleman always done the right thing. That's it didn't matter. One. Truth, justice, and the American way, that's what it was about. And he stood up for it. Kind of like Chuck a guy Connors. named Andy Griffith. I remember that as well. Yeah. Now, does this not, does this next guy, Odie, not remind you of Pirates of the Caribbean? <laughs> Just his natural self. Am I Well, wrong? he's been around since the Pirates of the Caribbean. Him and Willie <laughs> helped write the Constitution of the U.S. <laughs> Stephen Tyler. <laughs> Born in 48, but man, does he not look older than 1948? Yeah, he does. Is it? What is it? Drugs. Oh, okay. So yeah. That's the only thing he's ever done. <laughs> <laughs> it what, was, <laughs> what was that from the water boy? Boys and girls, our next yeah. subject, drugs. Yeah. <laughs> what Just say no. <laughs> do, you, do you realize I had forgotten mm. this was one and the same person? Reba McIntyre done a remake of a song called The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia back in the 70s. I think it was 73, yeah. as a matter of fact. The song came out. That the night the lights went out in Georgia. Yeah. The night yeah. they <clears throat> killed an innocent man. It was Vicki Lawrence who sang that, her one song only. But you would <laughs> know her and probably remember her from playing Mama's Family. Yeah. Started on Carol Burnett. Sure did. Uh, but she watched had, Carol Burnett. I, I had forgotten that she was the original singer of that song. If you go, <clears throat> you remember Tim Conway was with Mama and them when he was talking about the elephants. You know, the Siamese element, elephants that was stuck at the, stuck at the trunk. Yeah. And every time they snort, you remember, <laughs> <laughs> if y'all go, <laughs> look up Tim Conway <laughs> yeah, and yeah, Mama's family. <laughs> that is funny. I looked it oh, up, watched yeah. it. They had a the little, elf, I mean, the monkey that went back and forth. <laughs> I don't know the answer to this. I just got to ask this. said, how many shots <clears throat> did the rifleman fire off at the beginning of the show? You know, he's walking down the street. I, do you know? Uh, three, I believe. Was it three? Do you really know that? Um, I I think, see if it comes up, but I want to say, for some reason, three stuck in my mind. I could see Odie playing this part in the movie. Oh, I'd, I'd be perfect. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> remember a TV, a movie called The Three Amigos? Yeah, a guy that used to be on Saturday Night Live with Steve Martin was also a co-star in this. Martin Short was born on this day back in 1950. All right, so I've got uh, Bob Says Three. Danny says five. Uh, Richard said nine. James said three. So there's two for three. Uh, so that's going to be a good uh, 
a good little trivia question. How many shots did he take at the beginning of the show? Yeah, I, I did not know the answer to that. Uh, interesting that, that that you knew that. that, that and give one for Odie there. I, I told you, baby, I do know something. <laughs> <laughs> Most people don't know that they know this guy. And if you've ever listened to a George Strait album, a CD, well, you know this guy. He had a solo career at one point. He wrote a couple of, he was a great songwriter. He had a song called Hot Country and Single. Woo, it was good. Mm. He wrote Marina Del Rey and any George Strait song in those early years that you can imagine. Dean Dillon met here in Meridian, Mississippi, backstage at the Temple Theater. One of the best there ever was. Has a birthday today. So good old boy. Huh? Oh, man, he is it. And he can tell a great story as to how <laughs> he told me, he goes, I got one mission in life. And I said, what's that? Stumbling down my dirt driveway to my mailbox to get my check every month. <laughs> <laughs> George Strait was good to him. Oh, just send me my but, cash. But, you know, it, it, it is amazing how some people have that talent of taking words out of thin air and put them into a song that moves you forever. Said goodbye. Yeah. Marina Del Rey. I had a good time. Woo. Anyway, mm -hmm. y'all look it up there. Anybody remember the name Charlie McClain? Who's cheating who? Sleeping with oh, the radio. Yeah, yeah boy. And I, I remember the first time I heard the name, I thought, man, that that sounds like a woman but it's a man's name her name she spelled it a little different if you remember back in the day she was a beauty born in 1956 charlie mclean one of the biggest of 1980s you don't know that alan jackson re-recorded that who's cheating who and whose car is parked next door good song there Ooh, yeah, do you yeah. remember lisa gibbons i do did, did i pronounce it right yeah okay I th entertainment tonight is what she is uh, That's famous what i was for. trying to remember where i, I knew the name I looked her uh, up on Facebook, and I'm not sure that this doesn't have that special feature of the photo. Uh, what do you do to the, your picture when you oh, adjust your yeah. picture? Uh, what, 90% of them do on Facebook? Yeah. Do we bump? Y <laughs> if y'all get lost and we use your Facebook pictures. <laughs> ain't nobody going to find you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see people on Facebook and bump into them in the store and go, who are you? <laughs> Golly, <what> you <laughs> <laughs> Something happened. Yeah. Filters, that's what Filter, it's called. that's it, yeah. 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 So uh, there you go there. <laughs> this this was a huge mistake, and she even admitted it later. You can be born with sometimes what some might pick on you about, but it's your claim to fame. It's really your beauty mark. And when you go alter what God did to you, and she did this, and she yep. never got a major role after correcting what God gave her. And it was something big. very simple. Yeah, but it was big. Yeah. But it was big. It was big. It was big. Yeah. It was big. Horn, horn. <laughs> Do y'all remember Jennifer Grey? She, of course, was in mm. Ferris Bueller's Day Off and then that iconic role of Baby where she played with uh, Patrick Swayze. But after that movie, they picked on her about her nose and she went and had surgery and had it reduced. Never and heard from she her. Was it, just it not took the away. Same. She was so unique with it. She wasn't ugly. Yeah. No, not at all. It's not just, from the front, anyway. That's right. She, <laughs> pretty girl. <laughs> Kitty's a little bit, he's got a few years on you and me, maybe a year. Yeah, Kitty Chesney like mm. has a birthday today. Y'all remember him? He couldn't sing anything but about a beach. That's really it now. Wasn't he married for like a day? Half a day. Half a day? Renee Zellweger? That's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. She said, too. Uh oh. <laughs> we have never really gotten an explanation uh, for that either, have no, we? No, she never really said anything. She, she said, did come back and say, well, that's not what y'all think, but it yeah. was... Yeah, okay. We'll leave that at that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we won't touch that. Nice guy there. Mm. Met him many, many times. 1971, this old boy went into the recording studio, and man, I loved it. I remember the year that Clayton Delaney died. I went out in the woods mm. and I cried. Tom T. Hall, the storyteller. One of the best there ever was there. He could tell a story. I liked, I liked me some Tom T. Hall. Well, uh, let's see here. This was probably the funniest TV show, and it was at the top of the ratings in 1971. Yes. They played it after 10 o'clock because why, Odie? Because it was not suitable for kids under the age of 14. Risque is the word I think they would use, but there That's was it. always a beautiful woman somehow in the skit. Uh, on every one of them. Every one of them. Yeah. And uh, we used to watch it. It was called Benny Hill. Anybody remember watching that? 
that's the first time I ever learned what assume really stood for. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll leave it at that. We'll let y'all figure that out on your own. <laughs> Benny Hill was funny. Oh, he was. You know, he always had that water hose. Yeah. And <laughs> now this was British, uh, and, and they played it on PBS is how we yeah. got it. Yeah. So it wasn't uh, as bad. It's not as bad as some people go, oh, but it was just risque you know, for the time. If you can, you need to go watch a show, Are You Being Served? Oh, I love it. British TV. I love it. Look, it's some of the funniest stuff out there. <laughs> the department store. <laughs> yeah. Are you being served? <laughs> 1973, oh, the $10,000 pyramid began. Do y'all remember this? Dick Clark was the host of this. And I could only find a black and white of this little mm. instance there. It went on to become the $20,000 pyramid. And then I think even eventually the name changed to the $100,000 pyramid. Tom, I think so, yeah. Didn't, didn't Tom Selleck appear on there one time and get in some trouble with his answer? I won't go into what he got in trouble over, but... I don't know. It was really funny. Somebody... Sued him because he laughed at their answer, if I remember correctly. <laughs> well, it, it was funny. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> we'll move on. 1974, <laughs> Charlie Rich was at the top of the charts, and no one knows what happens where? Behind, Behind closed, closed doors. doors. Oh, man. The Silver Fox had the number one song. And, of course, he also had, which is better? Uh, the song uh, Behind Closed Doors of the Most Beautiful Girl in the World. Hey, have you happened to see the, the most, most beautiful, beautiful girl? Which song was better? Or are they equal? Yeah, you can't pick between the two. Yeah, I was just, they were both great songs, and that really put him there. 1982, this yeah. was a historic day in Washington, D.C., as they broke ground today. They brought out all the shovels. Let's show you a picture of this as the Vietnam Veteran Wall began. 1982 is when it all began on this date there. Wow. It is so hard to believe that that was 82. It, yeah. And it's, man, it is something to see, too. Uh, man, I, all of those places in, in Washington to go and see the museum went into the archives. And uh, I was like, well, I want to go look. Yeah. And it's been forever. I hadn't been since like 84. And so I get there and we walk in and the rotunda where you walk up, only so many people on the rotunda at one time, but you go up and you see the Declaration of Independence. Let me tell you what, goosebumps ain't the word for it. Oh, man. Because I Is was there it? as a young teenager and it... I knew what it was, but it really didn't mean. And I, I've served you in the get military, older. and I understood what it was. And boy, it just ate me alive. And the same thing with that memorial. Uh, it really makes you think. The heroes that we've had, the heroes that stood up for what we take for granted today. Yes, sir. What this generation that's coming up has no clue about what people have done to give them the right for some of the thoughts that they have. Oh, you go back and you think about mm. what George Washington's men done, Valley Forge, fighting for something for our freedoms that we have today. It, yeah. was, it was horrific, the conditions that they went through. Now, you know, if this don't work out, I'm gonna, we're, we're going to be hiding because they're going to kill us. You do realize, I don't care. My freedom is worth my life. And they went and stood they up sure for did. what they believed and this generation coming up now, and has it was no it idea. wasn't a lot of cases, family against family, as some stayed loyal to the British, while the others said, "Wait a minute, we need a new country." It was a lot went on there. Every member that signed the Declaration of Independence, if you remember, they all ended up broke. Broke. No money, no nothing. Lost everything, and, and every one of them were wealthy, rich, and they lost everything, but they didn't care because they knew that the freedom. And the freedom to worship God was more important. Somewhere along the way, we lost Ooh. our way, didn't we? Boy, we did, sure you have, did. did you know Charlotte? No. Yeah, Charlotte Barrett. That's my mom. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> was, she, was she ever swinging? Uh, she swung at me a few times. <laughs> we go back to 83. It was the number one song today, little Charlotte. John She's Anderson. just as pretty. Just a swinging. Just a swinging. He will forever go down in history 
as the mm. swinging man. Number one today back in 83. We go to 2005. That's what I love about Sundays. Boy, what a great Ooh. song. Craig Morgan, yeah. we brought him to Meridian some years ago. You would get to watch him underneath the bridge there at Union Station. That's where he was. What a great entertainer. Anybody remember Geraldine Feraldo? Her, <laughs> F- Fierro. Fierro. Yeah, first woman to ever run for a Vice president. Political office, yep. vice president. Yep. And she passed away this day and back in 2011. She died of, uh, I believe, cancer at the age of 75. We also mm. lost a country star on this day. Really, he had several other songs, but he had one hit. Not On Your Love, I think was the name of it. Yeah, Not On Your Love. He retired from being a country music star and became a policeman. Jeff Carson passed away on this day back in wow. 22. And also with him, I think it was cancer that took his life. No, heart attack, age of 58 there. That's Uh, terrible. He was a great guy. I hate to see those things happen like that. Already 751 with Scotty Ray and Odie. We got coffee mugs to give away. We got a lot to do. Yeah. Still on the way here. The Preserve at Meridian is the premier senior living community in the Meridian area, offering independent living cottages, assisted living, and maintain their independence and pursue an engaging lifestyle with a robust activities calendar, personalized care programs, wellness activities, restaurant-style dining, and much more. Call or visit us online today at preserve at meridian.com to schedule your personal tour. Collinsville, Mr. Discount Drugs, your local pharmacy and gift shop, thanks you for your continued support. Whether you shop with us in-store, through our app, over the phone, or in our drive through our team will provide the best personalized customer service experience you expect from your local pharmacy. When you call or message us, you are promptly greeted by the Mr. Discount team that's ready to help. When you choose our pharmacy, you're choosing a locally owned pharmacy that cares about you and your community. Collinsville, Mr. Discount Drugs makes a difference. H&H Residential of Meridian is your number one carpet and flooring store. If you've been thinking of a new look for your home or office, call for a free estimate or consultation. H&H can install or you can do it yourself. H&H has all of your design needs from color, style, and texture. If you can dream it, H&H can make it a reality. Come see the large selection of hardwood flooring, laminate, vinyl, and even carpet. H&H Residential of Meridian, open Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, 321 Hawkins Crossing Road. Call Rosemary anytime, 601-462-9541. Welcome back. Some things you can't do in the state of Mississippi, Odie. So we have laws? We do, we do. You cannot, no matter how bad you want to, shoot into a Greyhound bus. (laughs) Because they will come get you as we go to our next headline story this morning. There you go. You can read all about it. That would happen. MBI investigating this. It was on a Greyhound bus near mile marker 5761 on Interstate 10 down in Jackson County. That would happen uh, two days ago. They have made an arrest there. You just don't be doing all of that. Wow. Read all about it. It's there. Mm. You know, that is something that is fading you just don't see them that much the anymore with the Greyhound bus. It was the most economical way to travel across the United States. But I've boy, been on them a few times. They're scaled back. Uh, I remember as a, as a kid, we had a Greyhound bus stop in Scuba, Mississippi. Each town had one. You could jump on a bus anywhere you wanted. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was gas stations. It didn't matter. You had trailways was yeah. operating. Yeah. And do you remember you could also send packages through Greyhound? Sure could. Had a little box out front that was bolted, uh, padlocked down to where you could leave it in there. Yep. I remember it. And then they'd call from the station and say, hey, you've got a package at the bus station, and you'd go down there and pick it up. Yeah, I'm going to have to have Debbie tell you the story of the Greyhound bus, and it'll make, a, make you cry. I'm just going to warn you. I'm going to let her tell you that story. Do, which brings to mind, do you remember the movie that I'm thinking of when it comes to a bus? It's got to be Forrest Gump. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Get deeper than that. He was real uh, famous there. They even put Vegas odds on whether or not the bus would make it. One of my heroes of the silver screen. Go ahead. Make my day. That's a hint. All right. So, uh... Is he coming back to you? Uh, he, uh, Had the chick Clint that, Eastwood. Right. And she was homely. Oh, boy. Ooh, she's scary. Sandra so, Rock. are you talking about like uh, every there? which way but loose? No, no. Think about the bus, the bus, I'm the trying. gauntlet. Do you remember that? To where he gauntlet. put the steel cage around that he had to deliver the prisoner. Oh yeah. He yeah. goes down, 
and they had the Vegas odds okay. whether or not he'd make it. Boy, that was a good right. show, too. Now, uh, Bill knew what it was. Bob did, too. The Gauntlet. I have not seen that in years. But uh, a good movie it was. So if you ever get a chance to go back and uh, see that one, make sure to do so. It was some kind of good there. Let's see what else we got going on this morning uh, across the big wide world. Let's see. Um, I was going to look at some of these. Uh, I, I, I don't see how this can work as we go to Florida for a headline. Uh, Governor DeSantis has passed a law that says anybody under the age of 14 cannot use social media in the state of Florida. Uh, he signed it into law. When you turn 18, you'll be able to do what you want. Uh, you know, here's here's where the and this is the biggest problem. And this is one reason that we're in the shape we are now. And and people don't understand the freedoms that they have is because the government steps in to raise our kids. Government get the out of our kids lives and our your parents should raise these kids, not the not government. The government. I'll go to gov.com and learn how to raise your kids. No, your mom and daddy should have taught you who you teach your kids, who your kids are taught by. Here's the the way the oh, law is man. written, Odie. Under the age of 14, you can't use social media, and that's any social media. At the age of when you turn 14 to 15, they would allow you to have an account with the consent of your parents, and then at the age of 16, you can do what you want. Do you agree with this law? No, not at all. Because here's the thing. If you give them social media and they get on there and they do something wrong, they need to suffer the consequences and learn that way. I'm, but you can't restrict. That's socialism, people. isn't it? Yes. And that's exactly what they're wanting. Government, get out of our life. Now, they, you're here to serve and protect, not degrade and keep buried for your socialistic ways. That's 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 very. Wow. I just thought you might want to know that. And I, Did you, I don't want him as president no more, or vice president, or anywhere. Around. Yeah, that that that's a little excessive there. Yes, it in is. my opinion. Did you see this horrible story of the eight-year-old girl? Uh, she had uh, went to a hotel. She was in, in the, the swimming pipe. pool. Yes, and she was sucked as you just sucked into a pipe. It took them thirteen hours to get her out. And she didn't make it. Is the is the sad ending to this wow. story? Mm hmm. Um. I, I just, um, mm -mm. it was at a double tree is where it happened at. Uh, I'm trying to see if they show a picture of what the pipe looked like. I, it, 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 as small as this is, and this is after the fact, so this is not going to show anything, but this is from Daily Mail. Let me show this picture. Look how small that pipe is there. And she, oh, and she wow. was a She was a small child. And yeah. It, you would never think that a child could fit into that. Tragedies no, can, uh, the blink of an eye, uh, the, what you can't even fathom can happen is the moral to that story. Um, not at anyone's fault. I, you can't blame the parents for this. They were swimming, having a good time, and it happened. I, oh, gosh, it, it, it breaks my heart. It truly does if something like that could go on. Yeah. Oh, Jacob said it's more of an example of uh, authoritism. And then someone made a comment, well, parents don't know how to raise their kids. Well, then hold them responsible for having the kids. Because it was their reason that they brought them here in the first place. Yeah. If you can't raise them, then give them to somebody who can. Just my two cents. Uh, do you know Carrie Lake, who I'm talking about? I know the name. Uh, she ran for governor of uh, New Mexico. Uh, and she lost. Yes. And she said, yes. was it New Arizona. Arizona. Let me and, back up and on now, that. And now, isn't, isn't she on a short list for she is. Uh, president? I mean, for vice president for Trump? But as we talk about artificial intelligence, um, I didn't realize it had gotten to this because there was. I saw a news article that said, "Did she really say all that?" It looked real. She is demanding that a website take it down. They used her image, and you cannot tell that it is not her wow. saying things that are not good. And she has demanded that everything be a cease and desist. And of course, you know, we told you in Tennessee they passed the law to where you cannot do that without right. written permission from that person. Now. But here's the thing. What are they going to do if they catch them? Is it going to be like all these dead gum phone calls where they scam people out of money? Well, we just, they're from some other country and we just can't go and do anything about it. Oh, yeah, you can, can too. That's a good question. Uh, so, uh, what good is a law 
if you can't uphold the law. Good one, good one. We don't have enough law enforcement to enforce the law anymore, and you know that as well as I do nationwide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, that one, that one, be watching. Uh, and that old that old saying of believe half of uh, uh, don't believe anything you hear and only half of what you see. Yeah, yeah. There's a prime example of that. It looked real, uh, and I I don't know how you avoid all of this. Uh, I, boy, 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 boy. Some more headlines here. Glance across. Um, we've got a bunch of people missing there. Let's see here. This is. I ain't gonna fool with them Jenners. I, <laughs> they don't. Uh, they, they, yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna skip there. The Cajun yeah. Navy is out and about trying to find someone who is missing. A 15 uh, year old boy that has disappeared. Man. The Cajun Navy. You got to give them. And what am I talking about? It's a group of volunteers in Louisiana that get together when somebody comes up missing and they need search and rescue efforts. Those guys and gals go above and beyond. So we salute you. Yes, we do. Hang yes, tight. We do. We're going to give away the coffee mug and oh, some Ooh, words of coming. advice as we'll end the show here in just a moment. We'll be right back. Battery power made by steel. Right now, save $50 on select AK System battery tool sets. Real steel. Find yours. Advanced Auto Glass by Joey can handle all your windshield repair and replacement needs. Service work is guaranteed and covered by warranty. Our technicians are professional, auto glass trained, and have over 100 years of combined experience. Advanced Auto Glass by Joey utilizes in house calibrations for vehicle safety systems. Most insurances are accepted, and reliable mobile service is available in surrounding areas. Keep cars cool and secure with custom tinting, side mirror replacement, and Aquapel windshield wipers. There's one clear choice in auto glass repair Advanced Auto Glass by Joey. Welcome back. I wanted to mention uh, power situation getting a little better. All of Lauderdale County back restored as we go to EMEPA and look down to Clark County here at the state line. We still have a, about uh, 27 people uh, without power as we look at this. As we go here, it's going to be uh, how, off of Highway 18, County Road 410, where it goes on Highway 18 right there. Six people in that area in Clark County without power right there at the Mississippi-Alabama state line. As we go further south down here on uh, Pine Ridge Road, we have more people, about 21 people without power right there, and they are working to restore this. So if you hadn't got power right now, give them a few minutes. Uh, most likely, and this is how those things happen, where those power lines go off into the woods, it'll be a tree, and it takes a little time to get back there to it to get it back up. Mm -hmm. So they're trying very hard to restore power 100% in Clark County as we speak. Hopefully that'll be done before long. A lot of rain, and these are back in the woods to get to these lines, so sometimes it's not easy to get back there to it. Uh, it sure is. Uh, this is Tuesday. Um, you've yeah. got a big announcement coming up here in just a little bit of press conference, don't you? Yeah, we got a press conference at 930 this morning at the uh, Lima office. Uh, Scotty Ray is going to be there along with the other media is going to be there. We think it's a big deal and it's all to help you, too. Uh, so not going to give anything around. We got some state senators coming in. Uh, so. Pay attention. Scotty Ray's going to go live and cover that event. Uh, I had a couple of people ask, how did the radar work during our test last night? It, you know, it's going to take a little to get used to and, and looking at it, but you could see where a lot of storms were really developed uh, at 10, 12,000 feet, but down here at ground level was not see. near as bad. Uh, and it kind of, that's what we saw a lot. So uh, once we get used to it, I think it's going to be an awesome. Well, I know it is. It's going to be awesome to have that availability uh, in our EOC. Don't know if, if it's how or when it's going to be offered to the public. It will be a subscription based, but uh, uh, at least at the EOC, we have the ability to. Uh, that's to what you're there to help folks. And, and that's it. Uh, so. I think it's a great thing, and I, I can't wait to to really learn more on this particular radar and, and use it every day. All right. Let's give away that coffee mug. Oh, yeah, here it is. So, this is what uh, it looks like. 
Daniel Hill, 28 years old. Channing Tab celebrating four, the big four years old. Al Robbins having a birthday. Ashley Sims Jordan having a birthday. Josh Stakely having a birthday. And Skylar Connor, 22 years old. So uh, let's see. Here we go. Go winner of the Hyundai Meridian Cup. And it looks like uh, we've got Josh Stakely. Congratulations. Is the winner of our Hyundai of Meridian Scotty Ray Report coffee mug. Just go by Hyundai of Meridian. While you're there, look, test drive a vehicle. Yeah. You just don't know you'll find something you'll like there. We'd like to thank Amanda for dropping by this morning from the State Games of Mississippi. Yeah. That was such a pleasure to have her. It's been so many years since I got a chance to talk with her. After graduating, you kind of lose track of people. It's it so good to see you. It doesn't take long, her. does it? All right. Uh, as we enter Easter, give us some words of wisdom here as uh, we go. You got a Bible you know, verse for us today? I, I do. I got to pull it up real quick. Oh, okay. I just, uh, but, uh, you know, this is, go find you a church. If not Thursday, Friday, uh, and Sunday, at least Sunday. Go somewhere and... Today's Bible verse comes from Mark 11, chapter 24. Uh, chapter 11, verse 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And remember, God said all we have to do is have the belief the size of a mustard seed, and we can move mountains. All we've got to do is pray for it. Ask our Heavenly Father. He loves us so much that He will give it. We've talked about this before. We've always been told, don't try God. Don't try Him. But He tells us in the Bible to try Him and give for Him. And ask, and He will give till our cup runneth over. He'll give us not just enough. He'll give us more than we deserve. And all we've got to do is bring him into our heart, ask him to forgive us of our sins, and live and walk for him. He has risen. There is no doubt in my mind he has risen. And he is coming back. Are you going to be prepared? Join Sunday for Easter service uh, this coming Sunday and make it a part of your life. Wow. 23 hours, and we'll be back a little bit less than then. Yep. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Be safe out there. Remember, we love you. The Scotty Ray Report is brought to you by our following partners. 